everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through my healthy makeup routine that is sort of my go-to when I want to wear a bit of makeup, which I haven't been doing a lot of lately, and not be too made up but feel a bit more presentable. As you can see I have nothing, on, no makeup on my face at the moment. I've done my skincare routine already and I will link that video down below for you if you want to go and watch that first. So as you'll know, I am a Tropic Skincare Ambassador and everything I'm using today is Tropic Skincare. All natural ingredients, cruelty free and vegan. And first of all, I'm going to go in with this tinted skin shade. This is the old packaging, a uh, newer version is out, but the formula is exactly the same. SPF 50 and it comes in colours light to medium and medium to dark. And I apply this with the Kabu Kabuki brush. <laughs> This again is the old Kabuki brush and the new one I will use later in this routine um, to apply my powder. Um, but I apply this all over my face and I take it down my neck as well. Because of the SPF 50 in it, it's great for any time of the year to be honest as I am over 30 now and it's so important to protect our skin from UVA and UVB rays as like a lot of you I'm sure um, I'm the same and I don't want to age prematurely if I can help it so I like to use this as my base um, so that my skin is fully protected and it gives a nice light coverage as well so that's my skin shade all applied I use shade light to medium so now I'm going to go in with the Aluma which is a lovely brightening under eye concealer so I apply it with the applicator under both my eyes and then I will just dab it in with my ring finger. You can apply this with, again, a beauty blender um, or a brush if you wanted to, but I like to just dab it in with my finger so that I don't lose any of the product. I use shade Latte in this, which is the, the lightest one as I am rather fair. Next up, I'm going in with the makeup palette. So this is amazing because each of these you can take the products out and switch in whatever you like. It's customisable to you and I just love it. So I am using the Undercover Cream Concealer now and this is the perfect one to go over any red areas, any blemishes that you may have just to even out your um, base. And to be honest my skin's pretty good at the moment but I do have a little bit of acne scarring um, from past breakouts that I've had and a few little red areas so I just cover those up with this concealer and I use shade macadamia in this concealer and I absolutely love it. The brush I used to apply this was the small detailing brush um, but you can use any brush or just your finger if you wanted to. Next up I'm going in with the Soft Focus Perfecting Powder. This is a beautiful mineral finishing powder that just mattifies your skin um, throughout the day. I do get shiny in my T-zone so I'll just apply it over the concealer that I've used and across my T-zone. This is the new Kabuki brush. I know it looks a bit like a shaving foam, um, a shaving brush, but it's not. Um, and it's beautiful because it's lovely and soft to apply this powder with. This powder also comes in light and dark. Obviously I'm using light here and the great thing about it as well is the container that I showed you a minute ago. You only have to buy that once, so once you've bought the container, once you run out of the powder, you can buy a refill pouch which makes it cheaper for you and obviously more eco-friendly as we're not using as much packaging. Next up, using the Precision Face Brush, which is a double-ended brush for blusher or bronzer, I'm going in with blusher. So I use the Blush Crush Cream Blusher in shade Coral Bloom, and I absolutely love this. Um, and I just apply it to the apples of my cheeks, it gives me a really rosy look. I do also apply a little bit to my nose, um, just where the sun would hit me to make me look like I've been kissed by the sun. But it's really beautiful, a little bit goes a long way and this blusher is still going strong and I've had it such a long time. Next up I'm going to apply a bit of highlighter, the Way to Glow highlighter. 
in shade Sunrise. Again, I use the cream one at the moment. I'm loving cream blushes and cream highlighters. Um, and I just dab it on with my finger. Again, you could use a brush if you preferred. Um, I'm no professional, so as you can probably tell by now, that I'm not a makeup artist or anything, and this is just how I like to do it. I'm sure if we have any makeup artists watching, they might be thinking I'm doing it all wrong, but please leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know if you have any tips to help me. So next up, I am going in with a little bit of eyeshadow. To be honest, I don't really do much to my eyes. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to my eyes, but I do like a little bit of eyeshadow sometimes. And I'm using shade Oatmeal here, just to even out my eyelids and give me a little bit of color and a bit of shimmer. Um, yeah, it's just something I like to do. Like I said, I'm no professional, but this is sort of my go-to every day look. There you go, took me two seconds, that'll do. <laughs> Next up I'm going in with the three-in-one brush. This has got to be my favourite brush, the Tropic Do. For your brows, so this spoolie end I use to brush up my eyebrows. It also has um, two other brush ends. This one I use to use the brow pomade on my eyebrows. However, there is also another end which you can use if you prefer to use a brow powder. So I just sweep it across my pomade, which I use the shade Willow Bark, and I just do little brushes across my eyebrows to fill any gaps in. I have had my eyebrows microbladed in the past, but I, that was years ago now. So they're very faded and do have gaps in them. So I like to use this just to fill that in. There you go, you can see the difference there. That does look a bit harsh on my face at the moment, but I promise once I've done the other one, it doesn't look so in your face. There we go. I was getting really hot in this dressing gown. I think it was about 20 degrees when I filmed this outside and it was getting warmer and warmer and my dressing gown is a big fleecy one. Maybe not the best choice. Next up, I'm going in with mascara. So I use the Lash Extension Kit, um, and what this is, I'm using the Fixin' Gel Mascara at the moment in shade black. I'm really trying to do this without opening my mouth, which all you ladies will know, it's virtually impossible to put mascara on without your mouth wide open. So first of all, I go in with the layer of Fixin' Gel Mascara, and what I'm doing now is going in with the microfibers, so these attach to the end of your eyelashes to give you that lash extension look and really enhance your lashes that you already have. Um, so I just apply it to the tips um, on each eye and then I will go in afterwards again with the Fixing Gel Mascara just to hold them in place um, so they don't go anywhere and it really does give your lashes that lash extension look. Um, you might not want to do this all three steps every day, um, but the Fixing Gel Mascara is fine to use by itself without the fibres, but if you want a bit of a more dramatic look on your eyelashes and want them to look longer, then the lash extension fibres are great for doing this. And if you can apply mascara without getting any around your eyes, then you're a better woman than I am. So I'm just taking this cotton bud just to get rid of those black smudges that I've put around my eye that I don't want there. Lips now. I'm going in with a lip liner in shade Stripped. So these lip liners came out in March. Tropic launched them in March and I was so happy when they did because I love a lip liner. They come in three shades at the moment and yeah, as I said, I'm using shade Stripped here. Next up I'm going to go in with the Kiss Me Quick Lipstick and this is in shade Nude Blush. What's great about these lipsticks is again 
you only have to buy the cartridge once and you can buy the replacements just to pop in the cartridge again it's brilliant to save on packaging and it makes things cheaper for you as well it's really really good and obviously eco-friendly so a little tip um, that I like to use is taking a bit of toilet paper and I just smudge my lips over it and then I apply another layer I find that this really helps keep the lipstick in place for longer and I'm my mum is always saying to me how does your lipstick stay on so well and I really think that this is a great tip that really helps so try it out see if it helps you and let me know I wouldn't always go in with something else as well but I fancied a little bit of a change today so I thought I'd go in with a lip glaze in shade velvet, velvet peach and I just dab that a little bit over because I fancied a little bit more of a shimmer. I've not, as I've said, I've not been wearing makeup much recently, so today I really fancied getting a little bit more dressed up and making a bit more of an effort for a change. And there we have it, that's everything. Simple, natural looking, and really good for your skin as well, with all the ingredients being super natural and all vegan and cruelty free. So I absolutely adore the Tropic makeup. And as you can see, it gives a lovely fresh look. I curled my hair before I did this video, just brushed it out and put a lovely summer dress on to make me feel pretty for the day because I've been li living in leggings and t-shirts if you've seen my previous videos. So that is my healthy makeup routine because no harmful chemicals are used in any of the Tropic skincare products and I absolutely love it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave links down below. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe because I bring a new video every Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye!